gave you some levels to look out for. So we'll quickly look at them. Then we'll, I think we also looked at gold. Gold is the only one that would have hit your stop loss. If you followed our analysis, the rest of the pairs went as analyzed. Gold is the only one which would have hit. So out of uh, one, six pairs, one would have hit your stop loss. So you would have won five trades and lost just one. That is very, very good. So let's look at NZDUSD. This is one of the trades, one of the guys, some of the guys took, and they told me they made money. Now, I gave you prices to look out for as far as this was concerned. I told you to look at 0 0.65848 for support and buy from there. This was our target. It's long term, so it has not gotten there yet. But long term, that is where it is going to go to. So if you entered here, one, once we finish teaching you how to trade a daily cycle, you will not hold your trades for too long. You'll be doing intraday trading. That means you'll be closing your trades in profit every day. So you'll not stay in the market for too long. So wild reversals don't come against you. You stay in the market for a few hours, then you go. So one guy, though we have not, he has not been taught yet, he was able to execute that perfectly. So he made... According to him, he made 40 pips on this trade. This was the entry, and it went up to here, then it started to wake down. The reason why it came down was to come and fill some gap over here before it continues going up. I am still in this trade. It came back to my entry, and then went down, but I never hit my stop loss, so I'm still in it because it's a swing trade. I'm holding it till it gets here. So if you entered over here, this week we are seeing was a bullish candle that got rejected, and then it started coming down. So if you place the trade from where we said you should enter, like the guy did, he told me he made 45 pips. That means he even entered at a better uh, price than what I provided. And he has not even, we are not even down with the trade. That means that guy is way ahead of his time. <laughs> Let me put it that way. So you, could, you would have made, assuming we had finished teaching you how to trade the daily cycle, you would have made about 41 pips from this trade, which is quite good. Now, like I said, the reason why it came back down is to fill a gap I have demarcated over here. You see, once the gap got filled, it got rejected here. And this is where I think it's going because I can see liquidity resting above over here. Long term, this is where it's going. So I'm still in this trade. I haven't closed it yet. So that is it for NZDUSD. So you would have made about 41 pips from NZDUSD. Assuming you took it and assuming you knew how we trade the daily cycle, which we'll be teaching you. You would have made 41 pips from this. We also looked at, I also talked about NZDCHF in the group. I gave you some levels to look out for. This is it. These are the prices I give you. This is today's candle. Today's Wednesday. This is, this is a daily time frame. So this is today's candle. This is yesterday's candle. And this is Monday's candle. So if you had bought it for, at the price I mentioned in the group, which was 0 0.61 trainer, I told you to look at between 0 0.60139 and then 0 0.60028. So if you had taken that one, and assuming you know how to trade the daily cycle and get out, you would have entered from here and you would have gotten out at the top of this, this very candle, this one, which would have made you eight, 38 pips. You would have made 38 pips from this trade. So add it to the other one, that is over 70 pips already. Now, the reason why NZD CHF also came down is there's a gap over here that it had to come and fill. And it also had to come and occupy a block of orders over here. Now, you can clearly see that it's getting rejected. Long term, I think it's going up here because there's a liquidity pool above here and a gap, it has to go up and fill. So I am still in this trade too. It's also a swing trade for me. But with the intra intraday trading, you could have gotten out on this candle when it went up for 38 pips. Don't worry about that. You will be taught how to do that. So this is still a very valid setup. Okay. We also spoke about Euro GBP. Let's go to Euro GBP, which is the Euro paired against a Great Britain pound. This one too, if you understand the intraday cycle, you would have made, look at the prices. I mentioned two prices too. I said 0 0.90577. And then over here, this block of order, orders which is also 0 0.90699. And then I said there was a gap here that it could go up to fill. Now, I took this and I got out on the intraday cycle because I knew that it is likely to reverse because I saw this over here, which is 
a morning star pattern. I saw a morning star pattern here, and I also saw a gap over here. So it has to go up and fill this gap before it finally drops heavily. But you could have capitalized on the intraday cycle. And if you had done that, you would have made about 53 pips. Add that to what we have made so far. That is about one, over 120 pips already. And today is only Wednesday. So you have entered here and gotten out over here. Once we teach you the daily cycle and teach you how to spot liquidity, you know when to enter, when to get out and all of that. We also looked at USDCHF. We looked at USDCHF. We said it was going to, it was going to sell. Now I told you, I couldn't tell you the high of the week yet because USDCHF was going to go up for a Judas swing, what we call a Judas swing before dropping. Now, for those of you who are monitoring, this is the Judas swing I was talking about. This. These green candles you are seeing, one, two, three. It has to go up to trap people before it comes down. I'll explain Judas swing to you, and I'll explain liquidity pools to you. So it went up and created the high of the day. And as soon as it created the high of the week, I, you know, I told you, I prompted you people in the group. I don't know if you remember, but I prompted you in the group. Very good. So it went up to create that. So assuming you entered after the high of the, of the week was created, which was over here, because as soon as it happened, I said it in the group. So if you entered from there, okay, and you are still holding this trade, this trade would have made you about 75, 75 pips. Add that to the one, over 125 pips, and we are almost 200 pips in profit for the week. Do you get me? So this, this, this is very powerful. So that's already almost 200 pips for the week. And then we also spoke of gold. Gold is the only one that would have hit your stop loss. Now that is because there's a detail I didn't see. After it, it, it hit my stop loss. So after it hit my stop loss, I analyzed it again and I realized what I left out. I bought it at this level. Then I had my stop loss just 30 pips blue. Now, because of how volatile gold is, I don't usually go in very big. So the loss was not a big loss. It was a very small loss. Now, the reason why gold came down, you see, I've, I've done some demarcations over here. It came down to, that this is a gap that it has to fill. Now, it came and went a few pips into the gap. It's supposed to actually fill this gap before going up. It hasn't filled it completely. It only went a few pips below it. So I suspect that it will either start going up or it can still come back to fill this gap before eventually going up. Long term, gold is still very bullish. These cells are nothing but just retracements. Long term, it's still very, very bullish. I think it will go back to the 2020 highs, which is 2074. It will go back there. I think so, because there's also liquidity. It has to go and clear it before they then decide if they want to continue going up or dropping. So, if you are taking, so let's, the 200 pips minus 30 pips from gold. You would have been having 170 pips already for the week. And today is only Wednesday. The other trades will still go up. So 170 pips and today is only Wednesday. That is very, very good. If your account is big, you will make a lot of money on that.